Hosea chapter 6. Come, and let us return unto the Lord, for He hath torn, and He will heal us, He hath smitten, and He will bind us up. After two days will He revive us, in the third day He will raise us up, and we shall live in His sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, His going forth is prepared as the morning, and He shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is as a morning cloud, and as the early dew it goeth away. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. For I desired mercy, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But they like men have transgressed the covenant, there have they dealt treacherously against me. Gilead is a city of them that work iniquity, and is polluted with blood. And as troops of robbers wait for a man, so the company of priests murder in the way by consent, for they commit lewdness. I have seen an horrible thing in the house of Israel, there is the whoredom of Ephraim, Israel is defiled. Also, O Judah, he hath set an harvest for thee, when I return the captivity of my people. Hosea chapter 7. When I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered, and the wickedness of Samaria, for they commit falsehood, and the thief cometh in, and the troop of robbers spoileth without. And they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness, now their own doings have beset them about, they are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness, and the princes with their lies. They are all adulterers, as an oven heated by the baker, who ceaseth from raising after he hath kneaded the dough, until it be leavened. In the day of our king the princes have made him sick with bottles of wine, he stretched out his hand with scorners. For they have made ready their heart like an oven, whiles they lie in wait, their baker sleepeth all the night, in the morning it burneth as a flaming fire. They are all hot as an oven, and have devoured their judges, all their kings are fallen, there is none among them that calleth unto me. Ephraim, he hath mixed himself among the people, Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not, yea, grey hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth not. And the pride of Israel testifieth to his face, and they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart, they call to Egypt, they go to Assyria. When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them, I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven, I will chastise them, as their congregation hath heard. Woe unto them! For they have fled from me, destruction unto them. Because they have transgressed against me, though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. And they have not cried unto me with their heart, when they howled upon their beds, they assemble themselves for corn and wine, and they rebel against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine mischief against me. They return, but not to the Most High, they are like a deceitful bow, their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue, this shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Hosea chapter 8. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord, because they have transgressed my covenant, and trespassed against my law. Israel shall cry unto me, My God, we know thee. Israel hath cast off the thing that is good, the enemy shall pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me, they have made princes, and I knew it not, of their silver and their gold have they made them idols, that they may be cut off. Thy calf, O Samaria, hath cast thee off, mine anger is kindled against them, how long will it be ere they attain to innocency? For from Israel was it also, the workman made it, therefore it is not God, but the calf of Samaria shall be broken in pieces. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind, it hath no stalk, the bud shall yield no meal, if so be it yield, the strangers shall swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up, now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. For they are gone up to Assyria, a wild ass alone by himself, Ephraim hath hired lovers. Yea, though they have hired among the nations, now will I gather them, and they shall sorrow a little for the burden of the king of princes. Because Ephraim hath made many altars to sin, altars shall be unto him to sin. I have written to him the great things of my law, but they were counted as a strange thing. They sacrifice flesh for the sacrifices of mine offerings, and eat it, but the Lord accepteth them not, now will he remember their iniquity, and visit their sins, they shall return to Egypt. For Israel hath forgotten his Maker, and buildeth temples, and Judah hath multiplied fenced cities, but I will send a fire upon his cities, and it shall devour the palaces thereof. Hosea chapter 9. Rejoice not, O Israel, for joy, as other people, for thou hast gone a whoring from thy God, thou hast loved a reward upon every corn floor. The floor and the winepress shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fail in her. 
they shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt, and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria. They shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord, neither shall they be pleasing unto Him, their sacrifices shall be unto them as the bread of mourners, all that eat thereof shall be polluted, for their bread for their soul shall not come into the house of the Lord. What will ye do in the solemn day, and in the day of the feast of the Lord? For, lo, they are gone because of destruction, Egypt shall gather them up, Memphis shall bury them, the pleasant places for their silver, nettles shall possess them, thorns shall be in their tabernacles. The days of visitation are come, the days of recompense are come, Israel shall know it, the prophet is a fool, the spiritual man is mad, for the multitude of thine iniquity, and the great hatred. The watchman of Ephraim was with my God, but the prophet is a snare of a fowler in all his ways, and hatred in the house of his God. They have deeply corrupted themselves, as in the days of Gibeah, therefore he will remember their iniquity, he will visit their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness, I saw your fathers as the first stripe in the fig tree at her first time, but they went to Baal Peor, and separated themselves unto that shame, and their abominations were according as they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird, from the birth, and from the womb, and from the conception. Though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave them, that there shall not be a man left, yea, woe also to them when I depart from them. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Give them, O Lord, what wilt thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. All their wickedness is in Gilgal, for there I hated them, for the wickedness of their doings I will drive them out of mine house, I will love them no more, all their princes are revolters. Ephraim is smitten, their root is dried up, they shall bear no fruit, yea, though they bring forth, yet will I slay even the beloved fruit of their womb. My God will cast them away, because they did not hearken unto Him, and they shall be wanderers among the nations. 3 John chapter 1. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly, when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren, and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well. Because that for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such, that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith, neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Demetrius hath good report of all men, and of the truth itself, yea, and we also bear record, and ye know that our record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee. But I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee. Our friends salute thee. Greet the friends by name. Psalms chapter 126. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Proverbs chapter 29 verses 12 through 14. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. The poor and the deceitful man meet together, the Lord lighteneth both their eyes. The king that faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established for ever.